हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल और नेक्स्ट वीडियो व्हाट एवर यू वांट टू से एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट एंड इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वेल एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली एंजॉय ओके सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू चेंज द डेट टाइम फॉर्मेट What is a date time format? Date time format uh, a, a string basically converts a date time object to one of the several standard formats which is defined in .NET library. Okay, so it's a very interesting thing. It's a very in interesting and sometimes or most of the time uh, when we make any scripts, uh, there uh, you have to uh, uh, the script needs a timestamp. So you Use uh, these uh, uh, time uh, date time object. Okay, so uh, the basic command which will give us a uh, command that gives date and time is get date time. Okay, you can see. Okay, and if you will check, you can see that it is a date time object, right? so i what i will be doing is that i will convert this uh, standard date format the format uh, here uh, you are seeing is that it is displaying day month uh, date year and time so this is displaying a combination of long and short date this is displaying the date in its full form but what if you only want date and day to be displayed what if you only want uh, the time format should be different for example uh, suppose uh, today it is uh, 25th of april so i want uh, the date to be displayed in this format okay so what what you can do how you will do so let's begin before beginning let me tell you uh, we need a uh, format we will be uh, using a format specifier now what is a format specifier format specifier will tell powershell to convert the date into either short date long date or combination of both only month so there are a number of uh, specify uh, format specifier which will tell the powershell to convert the date into that format so let's begin okay so uh, i am storing the value of this uh, um, get date into a variable which is date okay and to store a variable uh, and what is a, how you define a variable you define a variable by putting a dollar sign and then giving the name of that variable okay so whatever will be the date of this uh, what were, whatever the value of date it will be it will be stored in the into this variable okay now it is stored now we can see what is the value See, okay, and you can check also that this is displaying uh, system time object or not. So you can see. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm using that date variable now. Suppose if I want to convert this date into a short date, short date means the format will be displayed uh, like this uh, here. It will be displayed as uh, year, month, um, date, and year. So it will be displayed like this. So what I have to do is, uh, you have to just follow this format. Okay. Double quotes, then bracket, uh, script block, a block you can say, and zero, and colon, and then small. and then date time and then uh, you can use this date variable now you can see okay so this is uh, just a single format i will be discussing a lot of formats in my next video so see you in my next video okay till then subscribe to my channel and i hope you have enjoyed the video please share subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon thank you thank you so much thank you very much